What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com back with another SketchUp quick tip for you. So today I'm going to teach you real quick how to uh, take a regular model and use styles and overlays to kind of make it look like a pencil drawing. So let's go ahead and jump into it. So um, first thing you're going to do is you're going to want to um, have a copy of your model. Um, in this case I've downloaded this house and I'll give credit for that down below but I've just downloaded that from the 3D warehouse. But what we're going to do is we're going to use styles to change the way this looks. So we're we're going to do two things here, but first of all, what I'm going to have you do is I'm going to go have you download a pencil overlay, um, and you're going to get that from a tutorial on SketchupArtists.org. Uh, SketchupArtists.org is a great website that has a lot of more advanced like rendering tutorials and stuff like that, but in this case, um, we're going to go to this pencil overlay tutorial. So originally this is a tutorial for you to uh, use this overlay in Photoshop with uh, your SketchUp images, but we can also use this just in our styles. So you're just going to want to go to this tutorial, and then um, if you look right under the first picture, there's a download pencil stroke and base images files, um, and then there's a here. So click on the here, and you can download a zip file that contains the overlay that we're looking for. So just place that in a folder where you know where to find it and extract it so that we can use it. So now what we're going to do is first thing we're going to do is we're going to go in here and we're going to find a style that makes our edges look a little bit more sketchy. So and remember styles change just the way that your model looks in SketchUp. So they don't actually come in here and change anything having to do with your lines or anything like that. Like all your geometry stays the same. It just changes the way SketchUp kind of renders all that stuff. So what you're going to do is, remember the style section can be found in your tray. And uh, if you can't find your tray, you're just going to want to go to Window, Default Tray. And first of all, make sure Show Tray has been selected. And then you're also going to want to make sure Styles is selected. So what we're going to do is we're going to click this drop down in the Styles section. And we're going to go down to this Style Builder Competition Winners. So that's something that comes preloaded with SketchUp. And it's a whole bunch of different styles in here. Well, we're looking for the one that says Rough Pencil Style. So click the drop down, Style Builder Competition Winners, click on Rough Pencil Style. You can see what that does is that takes all your lines and it makes them look like they're actually hand drawn. Um, like if you came in here and drew these with a pencil. So, and the one thing we need to change in here is we need to turn these um, section planes off. So what you want to do is you want to come in here to Edit. And then you want to go to the fifth little box on here that says Modeling Settings and uncheck the box that says section planes and then come up here and just click on this update style with changes so just click on the picture up here once you made that change you can see how now those section planes don't show up in your model so this is already pretty cool you've got this model that you've built and uh, you've made it kind of look like more of a um, more of a hand-drawn image so the only other thing we're gonna do is we're gonna come in here and we're gonna add the image that we downloaded as a watermark so what you're going to do is you're going to be in this edit tab and you're going to click on this watermark settings option. So the fourth box, make sure the box that says display watermarks is checked and then click this plus sign for add watermark. And what you're going to do is wherever you extracted that folder, you're going to want to go inside of it and you're going to want to download this file called pencil or you're going to want to open this file called pencil. And basically what this is, is this is an image that SketchUp will overlay over your image in your model. And so what we're going to do now is first of all, it's going to ask you if you want this to be a background or an overlay. So you could put this in here as a background and actually that creates kind of a cool look. Um, so you can put that in here as a background or you can put it over the top of your image. So in this case, we're going to want to make sure overlay is selected and then just click next and now what it's gonna let you do is it's gonna let you come in here and it says blend model and image really what it means is how transparent do you want to make your overlay so you can move this back and forth to adjust how transparent this is so if you were to pull it all the way to image then you wouldn't be able to see anything if you were to pull it all the way to model you wouldn't be able to see your overlay at all and what we want to do is we want to make this just just kind of visible enough that it kind of looks like this was drawn on paper but not so much that uh, you can't really see your lines anymore so I'm gonna start right here and you can adjust this a little bit later but go ahead and click next 
and then it's going to ask how you want to display it. And in this case, we want to uncheck lock aspect ratio. We want SketchUp to stretch this across the entire screen. It doesn't really matter if it gets distorted a little bit. So if you have an overlay that it's really important that it doesn't get distorted, then you can lock your aspect ratio. But for now, uncheck that box and click finish. And so you can see what this has done is now this gives me an image. It's got kind of this rough paper um, overlay. So it makes this look a lot more hand drawn on paper. So now you can take this and if you decided, for example, that you didn't that you didn't want this to be quite as transparent, you can just click the little gears and move this option back and forth until it looks more the way you want it to look. So you can move that further right or further left. just like this and then if you want to you can update this style with this change so if you want to do that just click this update button and now whenever you select this style it'll automatically put this overlay in here but now you can take this image and you can export it uh, to like a JPEG or something like that so you'll actually have like an image of your model kind of drawn as colored pencil so Anyway, that's where I'm going to end this tutorial. I'll leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought. Um, is this something that you think you'd use? Do you have any ideas for how you could do this? I just love having that SketchUp conversation with you guys. So make sure you leave that comment below. If you like this video, remember, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you really like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Um, every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. That just helps me keep bringing you great SketchUp content. So in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.